Now that we've got our Can-Am completely stripped down and the factory roll cage removed, it's time to put in a new cage. Today we've got JC and the guys from Thumper Fab in the shop to put in one of their brand new roll cages. Thumper Fab started in 2019 when we brought all of our own designs in-house and started manufacturing. So we get to build uh, cool stuff for UTVs and side-by-sides. We take what is pretty much a boring stock car from the factory and we accessorize it. Our three main categories are bumpers, roll cages, and audio roofs. So we're here at Hawk Designs today. Uh, we're installing a Thumper Fab roll cage on a uh, 2017 Can-Am Maverick X3. We take the uh, stock factory cage off and we put in a, a stronger roll cage, keep the car safe, keep the driver safe. So this roll cage on Kenny's build is a, a what we call our low brow design. It gives that low slant brow in the front, gives it that real mean, aggressive design look to it, um, but also adds a lot of strength to the front too with the, uh, with the additional bracing up there too. So along with the aggressive design up front, on the side profile of it, we do a constant radius bend in it. And what that does is allow us to give a very mean, sleek look up front, but then we also give more headroom and clearance for the driver in the car too. It looks aggressive, it looks mean, it takes a car that already has you know, really good you know, stock appeal to it, but it just really makes it stand out. So what we've got here is a old cutoff piece of the, the cage that came off the vehicle first. The biggest difference between the two, this is a ERW tube, so it starts life as one sheet that is then formed into a tube, whereas this is a drawn over mandrel tube, so a DOM tube starts life as a tube. It is just a much stronger process for forming this tube. It gives us a much stronger cage, much stronger design overall over the stock piece. This is a fun business to be in. Um, it's, it's awesome that we get to, to make this a business because we're building cool stuff for already cool cars. Man, we're just really stoked to be a part, a small part of what he's about to build here. Um, it's just cool to be part of that car. So. In order to change up the look of this Can-Am X3, we've decided to ditch all the factory plastics and put a Volkswagen Beetle hood on the front and a rear deck lid in the back. This 1967 Volkswagen Beetle hood on the front fits almost perfectly and it matches well with our old vintage W deck lid in the back for a really cool Baja racer look. We decided to go with a full set of 32 inch Braven Blood Axe tires mounted on Raceline beadlock wheels. The Braven Blood Axe tires have a killer tread pattern that should hold up great in our Red Bull Mountain race. In order to get more horsepower out of our Can-Am, we decided to run it on E85. Today we brought in professional racer Derek Tidd and Robert White from the Renewable Fuels Association to go over some of the finer details of converting our machine to run on ethanol. I'm Derek Tidd. I race for Tidd Racing back in La Mexa, Kansas. I'm here at Hawk Designs with Renewable Fuels. We are converting Kenny Hawk's 
2017 Can-Am to run on E85 ethanol. So when we started racing three years ago, uh, we showed up, we had the ethanol banners, ethanol logos on the side of the car. From year to year to year, we have seen more cars convert to running ethanol for the same benefits that we get. They saw our cars running up front and they want to follow suit. There are a lot of reasons to convert to E85. Number one for a lot of people in the performance world is price. At 105 octane, averaging around $2 a gallon, it is simply a high performance fuel available at more than 5,000 gas stations nationwide. It's a cleaner burning fuel, it runs cooler, it's a higher octane than one you could get normally at the pump. The cost is considerably less and you can buy at a local gas station. So the Can-Am X3 has some unique opportunities for tuning and in this case we're adding new injectors, new fuel pump, wastegate, and a stage 5 E85 tune and we think it'll take that base model of somewhere around 150 horsepower with this minor conversion and adding E85 will take it somewhere close to 230 horsepower. First up, I'm going to replace the fuel pump because of 2017 and older vehicles, the fuel pump is not strong enough to make that E85 conversion. So obviously we have the roll cage off and several body pieces to make this conversion easy. The last remaining bracket will be removed, the fuel pump will twist out, and you'll see that firsthand. All right, now that we've got the old fuel pump out, the new one's ready to go back in. The next replacement part in this E85 conversion kit is the wastegate. The next step in this E85 conversion process for this Can-Am X3 is to replace the three injectors. Pretty simple process again, remove the two T30 bolts on the fuel rail, remove it, we'll show you how to do it all. Just want to stop for a quick minute to show you the difference between the stock injector and the E85 injector. On your left, stock still in the fuel rail. On your right, the E85 injector, you will see that the E85 injector has more holes and opportunity for fuel flow. You will need more fuel for E85. The last step in the E85 conversion process for this Can-Am X3 is to load a new tune. We'll plug into the diagnostic port in this model in 2017 that's up on the dash. In the newer models that will be underneath the steering column, the tuner will power up. It's detecting the vehicle, vehicle detected, and it's starting to load. We've now completed the E85 conversion process for this 2017 Can-Am X3. We replaced the fuel pump, the wastegate, three fuel injectors, uploaded a stage five E85 tune through this map tuner, and now it's time to add some E85 and fire it up. One of the most rewarding parts of my 20 year career in ethanol is who I work for and where this fuel comes from. This is U.S. agriculture. It's renewable product. It's domestic product and it's cleaner burning and supports U.S. farmers. I'm excited to see it in the X3 just like we had it in the Jeep a few years back and watch Kenny prove it on the track. And as you can see, it's a very easy conversion process that nearly anyone can do and we're excited to see where the future holds.